Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 11th graders, 2012, problem number 3. Let A and B be n by n matrices with complex entries, such that AB squared equals A minus B. We wish to prove two things. First, the identity matrix plus B is invertible, and moreover, matrices A and B commute with each other, that is, AB equals BA. It's a very elegant problem from linear algebra, here are my hints. First, notice this fact that square, a square matrix C is invertible if and only if the linear mapping uh, represented by this matrix is injective, which means that uh, C times some non-zero vector should be non-zero. If this is the case, our matrix is invertible. Again, that works only for square matrices, but we are dealing with square matrices in this problem. Uh, for part B, show one more fact that not only i plus b is invertible, but i minus b is also invertible. And then from the first equation, you should be able to derive this. And somehow you should be able from there to show that ab equals ba. So try it yourself. All right, so let's start with part A. Part A. Uh, so we wish to prove that A plus B is invertible. So suppose, suppose, suppose that uh, I plus B times some vector is a zero vector, i.e which means that b times some vector equals, well, identity times some vector is this vector, so it's minus v. But notice that then we have the following. Then we have the following, a b squared times our vector, well, it's a times b times b times this vector. So it's a b, b times v is minus v. This minus can be put in front. And again, bv is again minus v. Two minuses cancel. It's a v. And on the right hand side, we have a minus b. a minus b times v is a v minus bv, which is a v bv. We suppose that it's minus v. So it's minus minus v, so it's a v plus v. But these two things should be equal. And that means, since a b squared equals a minus b, it must be the case. It must be the case that what is true? Well, a v a v, so v must be equal to zero. So our function represented by a plus b is injective because it only attains the value of zero when the argument is zero. We have demonstrated that i plus b is injective. To be clear, the linear mapping demonstrated by this matrix is injective, so i plus b is invertible. It's invertible, which closes the proof of part A. You will differ for part A. But I will show one more thing, my second claim. I claim, proof is very similar, I claim that A plus A minus B is also invertible. Proof is very simple, very similar proof. Suppose, suppose that i minus b times some vector is zero, i.e. bv equals v. Notice that then, then ab squared times v, it's a b b v, so it's a b, b times v is v. Again, b times v is v, so it's a v, while a minus b 
times V is AV minus BV, so it's AV minus V, and again, since, since AB squared is supposed to be equal A minus B, it must be the case, it must be the case that V equals zero. So again, it means that I minus B is invertible. Which proves my claim. Which proves my claim. All right, now let's tackle part B. We wish to show that A and B commute with each other. What, what I will do, I will take my assumption once again, AB squared equals A minus B. And I wish to compute to express A in terms of B. How can I do it? Well, notice that B equals, I can put B on the left hand side. It's A minus AB squared. So it's A identity minus B squared. But identity minus B squared is A I minus B I plus B. Right, let me, let me put it left, right, but now notice that we have demonstrated that these two matrices are invertible, product of two invertible matrices is again invertible. It's invertible, so we can write, we can multiply on the right side by the inverse of this matrix, and we see that A equals B the identity matrix minus B squared inverse. And let's remember that. And let's remember that. We will use it. All right. Now, I will show that AB equals BA. I will do it by the following chain of implications. Notice that AB equals BA this is equivalent to saying we know that a is b times that so it's equivalent maybe you know what let's write it in right a b equals b a it's equivalent to saying that i b i minus b squared inverse equals b b also B should be here, yes, yeah, so this B equals B, B, uh, 1 minus B squared inverse. And now notice the following. I wish to cancel B, but formally I am not able to do that. But notice that this implication is true. We have implication in one direction. Yes, this implication is for sure true, because if two matrices are equal, then if we multiply them by the same matrix on the left-hand side, we still have equality. I do not claim that there is equivalence. There isn't, in general case. All right. But notice that this is equivalent. Now what I can do? I can multiply uh, on the left-hand side by i minus b squared, and on the right-hand side also by i minus b squared. All right. Again, this is equivalent because we are multiplying by invertible matrices on both sides. All right, and now notice that this times that is just identity. Likewise, this times that is also, minus one is missing, it's also uh, the identity. So we have B, I minus B squared equals, uh, equals I minus B squared times b. Notice that this is equivalent 
this is equivalent to saying that b minus b cubed equals, well, b minus b cubed, which is true. This is obviously true. This holds. So, notice that from a true statement, we are able to deduce that AB equals BA, so AB equals BA, in effect, they commute, yes? Uh, notice, crucially, we have implication in the right direction. It's all what we wanted. We have demonstrated... that AB equals BA. And this closes our... So, yes, very nice proof. Very, very neat, I'd say. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.